Hey guys, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Well, I did get an order from Beast Coast. And uh, I was away over the weekend. Uh, went to see a couple of college hockey games. Very, very much fun. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Saw Boston College at UConn on Friday night. And then uh, saw, um, uh, who was that? UMass at Providence on Saturday. So, big, big upset from... Uh, from UMass over Providence. So buddies of mine, we get together every year, a couple times, go see some college hockey. And we've got, we kind of started out the trip as a minor league hockey trip. We used to go see the Rangers play the Flyers a lot up in, uh, in Glens Falls, New York when they played there. But now it's, we've kind of uh, changed it to college hockey, which we've seen the last few years. So it's always a fun weekend. So I got back, but this order was waiting for me when I arrived home and it's from Beast Coast Fishing, as you guys can see. So uh, let me show you what I got here. I got actually uh, two stickers here to cover up the scratches on my little boat. Uh, let's see. Some of these, uh, actually, some of the stuff you've seen me get from Beast Coast before, and some of this is new. Um, let me show you some of the jigs that I got. I always got a, you know, I didn't really necessarily make this order for jigs, um, but I did grab a couple jigs, and I did get another one of the, the Tungsten Superfly uh, hair jigs from Beast Coast, and this is the black in the 316 sounds. And this time of year, this is when um, hair jig season is upon us as it gets colder out, even though today was almost 60 degrees again and very nice out. I was actually working outside the yard, cleaning up some things for the winter. But if you guys are looking for a tungsten um, hair jig, if you haven't seen the, uh, that, uh, I'll show you the package better, that Superfly, ouch, from, uh, from Beast Coast, that's what the packaging looks like. And I love to throw a hair jig. So if anybody makes a hair jig, I will definitely try it out. And that's what the Beast Coast version looks like. It's got, you know, it's tungsten head. You've got your little eyes there. And then you've got that hair that kind of just undulates in the water there. Small little finessey hook. So this time of year, I just kind of swim these around. Sometimes I'll put a little piece of super pork on there and throw it on the bottom. But a lot of times I'm just swimming the hair jig around. So that's the... Superfly from Beast Coast, if you guys have never seen that up close before. <clears throat> I did grab one of their Vanquish flipping jigs, and this is the, they don't have the sticker on it, but this is that, I believe it's purple, it's, I think it's Nurple they call it. And if you're just looking for your typical Arky style jig, and I didn't have this, this like, it's, it's kind of like a green pumpkin and purple, I did not have this color from them, so I grabbed a half ounce. So if you guys like that, that Arky style jig, which I like because I can flip it, I can pitch it, I can swim this jig. And um, what I like is they've got the nice bait keeper on there. What I'll usually do is I'll put a rattle strap on there, add my rattles, and then I can either put my soft plastic trailer on or my pork trailer. This time of year, I tend to use pork a lot more. This summer, I kind of go, you know, either or, but this time of the year when it gets colder out, I definitely throw pork. And it's got those nice, that nice purple in there. It's got some of that mylar type strands in there too. So nice looking jig. So if you would like, if you're looking for a tungsten Arky style jig, you know, check out that Beast Coast, that Vanquish. So I got one of those. And I also grabbed, I've always got to throw <laughs> one of these in in order. And that is the open water sniper. Just to keep the supply up. You tend to lose your, your football head jigs when you drag them around. And this is the hybrid goby. So it does have the the uh, the hair on it too. So it's the half ounce hybrid goby. And usually I'll just, I'll pick up like if I have a color that I'm low on or some I've been using a lot and been they're beat up. But if you're looking for that hybrid, you know, silicone slash hair mix like they have, that's what it looks like. And I tend to throw these ones more in the wintertime or when the water starts to get cold. But as I said, it was another 60 degree day today. I don't know how much colder the water is getting. We have had some cold days, but not really that bad yet. It's almost December. Not almost, but we're halfway there. But that's that goby color. So if you're looking for a really awesome finesse um, <clears throat> football head jig, check out that open water sniper if you've never seen it before. And the hybrid ones do have, I hope you can see that in there. It's got the silicone, but it also has the hair. So you get that ad extra action of a hair jig along with it when you're dragging the bottom. 
And this is one of my go-to, uh, you know, football heads right now, the open water sniper. It's one I throw a lot. And I do not add rattles to my, to my open water snipers. I do not do that. Usually I'll use like one of those baby rage menaces as a trailer. Sometimes I'll just use a net as a trailer, mix it up. But that's that goby color. If you guys were kind of wondering what that goby color looks like. So there you go. So that's another jig. Those are the three jigs I got, technically, even though I did get a jig head. Here's a bait, uh, or not a bait, but a, I have not used that swim bait, uh, swim bait sled head, uh, swim bait hook that they have. I hadn't had bought any yet, but I wanted to try them out. So I got some in the one out, one out hook size. Let me show you the one outs first, and then I got some in the two out size. So these are all the one outs. So I got a pack, and they come in a three-pack. Uh, let's see, I got the Tennessee Shad color. You guys can see that, the Tennessee Shad color. Uh, just a plain old black. You guys can see that. <coughs> Excuse me. And the green, dark green pumpkin. So these, as I said, are a one outside. So I'll show you the colors up close. And they come in a, they come in a three pack. So if you're looking for a different type of a swim bait head for your finesse swim baits, which I'm going to show you one that's going to match this perfectly in about a second here. Um, that's what they look like. And it's got the double keeper on it, which is really nice. It'll keep that bait on uh, when you're swimming around and hopefully getting a lot of bites. But this is the, uh, the one on and it's the dark green pumpkin. It's a three eighths ounce. So I can throw this out, get a small finesse and with the three eighths, I like the, the heavier size. I can get it down deeper and kind of slow roll it along the bottom where I assume those fish are gonna be this time of year. But that's the dark green pumpkin. So I got a pack of those in the one-on. I also got a pack of the Tennessee Shad. There's other colors. I just got these three that were, I don't remember everything when I ordered at, at the time was in the stock. But that's the oops, that's the Tennessee Shad color. You guys can see that. That looks like up close. So there's that Tennessee Shad. See that right there? It's got that the white belly, a little bit. I don't even know what you would call that color. On top, it's got some sparkle in there. But I'll show you how to, how to rig these up in a sec. Uh, swim some swim baits. And the last one in the one out size I got is just a raw unpainted, so it's like a like a nickel silver color. Whatever you want to call it. Which will show up nice. So if you're looking for the unpainted ones, there you go. That's what they look like. And kind of see the shape of that, how that head of that swim bait that you you use is gonna fit right in there. And I did get the same colors in the two out. So if you want to just do a quick comparison here, here's the Tennessee Shad, and it's three eighths again, but it's just a two out hook instead of a one out. So here's your two out. So you'll decide what swim bait will fit that best. And if you have something a little smaller, there you go. There's that one out. You can see that one out size. So there you go. So there's that Tennessee Shad in a two out and that sled head. The 3 8 ounce swim bait sled, two up, Tennessee shed. I call, keep calling it sled head. And here is the dark green pumpkin in the two up. Same good color, but just a little bigger hook. So if you got a bigger swim bait, that'll be perfect for you. So there you go. And the last one I got, there's that unpainted again. Now there's a couple other colors. Maybe they weren't in stock. I don't know. I did want to try this for a while, though, now I finally got some. So, there you go. There's that, that sled in a 2 out 3 8 ounce size. So, got a little bit of a weight, so I can get it down there. Let it sink down to the bottom, slow roll it back to the boat. And a perfect bait to team up with those is the 2.85-inch uh, uh, slow flow swim bait from Beast Coast. I, I don't know if you guys can see them. I have other ones that I've gotten before. This is some different colors I didn't have and I wanted to try out because this time of the year is when I tend to throw these smaller swim baits. And this is the sexy shad color. And they come in the nice, nice 
clam pack there, clamshell pack there, so they don't get the tails don't get messed up. They stink, which is awesome. <laughs> and fishing lures, when they stink, that's a good thing. That garlic scent is great. I don't have to really get a lot of put a lot of scent, extra scent on these. But there's that sexy shad color. So I would, I'm gonna see here. Let's see. That's, the, oh, I believe that's the one knot. I have not rigged these up yet. I don't know if I'm going to prefer the one knot. I don't know if I'm going to want to try the two knot. I'm sure I'll try it, but it's only a two point. The slow flow is only a two point, a two point eight five inch bait. So it's not even a three inch swim bait. So really, here's where you want your hook to be. You can see the little groove there in the back. I don't want my hook down past that because it's going to mess up the action of the tail swimming. I think the one knot will probably be the one I would prefer with these. I think the two knot. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It will fit. It'll definitely fit. So if I do want a bigger hook gap, I'll, I'll be okay. I'm going to start, though, with this unpainted one on, on the sexy shed. Now, I have, as I said, I have not rigged one of these up yet, so hopefully I won't mess it up while I do it for you guys. But always, you always want to rig your swim bait straight so they run right in the water. So I'm just going to go right through the snout of this swim bait. And I always kind of go in between the two color lines. And this is, I said, is the sexy shad color. And then you just kind of go around and I'm going to bring it around and make sure you go through that slot. That's why they put these slots in there. So you can put your hook through there. And hopefully I lined it up right and just work it down. And uh, for the first time doing it, it's very straight. It'll swim nice and even, and that's what it's going to look like in the water. So you've got, you don't just have that typical ball head. I like how the bait, how that sled kind of goes right across, and then it'll be on the bottom of that. So when I'm tapping that, if I'm fishing that close to the bottom and I'm hitting the bottom, it's going to make that sound of that, that head smacking the bottom and hitting those rocks. And hopefully that will get the attention of the fishies, and they'll come over and see and go, oh, there's a minnow in stress, in distress, it's time to eat them. But that's, I think... That unpainted with that one knot hook, I could get away with the two knot. I just don't think it's really necessary for these 2.85s. If I'm using a different kind of, like a Kitek or something, and it's a bigger swim, a, a bigger uh, a swim bait, I'm, I'd probably go with that two knot. But I think for these slow flows, or these these uh, 2.85 inch slow flows, I think that one knot is perfect. That if you can, you can see how far back it goes in that that little that little slot there, but I mean that's. That will catch some fish. Get that down, throw that out. I'll probably be throwing this on spinning setup, eight pound fluoro, and just slow roll it back to the boat. Same way I kind of throw a hair jig. Slow roll back to the boat, but that's a, that's a good, uh, I'm gonna leave that, <laughs> I, I did it right, I'm gonna leave it on there. But that's that sexy shed color, I'll show you the other colors I got. And they come in, I believe a seven pack, one, two, three. Yeah, so you get a seven pack of them. So that should last you a, good t a long time. And they stink, which is great. That garlic scent is awesome. You know I love garlic scent for my lures. But there's the packaging again, if you've never seen the slow, fl uh, slow flow before. From Beast Coast, located right in Connecticut. Which is nice, so support your, you know, your bait companies, especially the ones in the Northeast here. And this is, this is really, if you guys are looking for a finesse swim bait and you haven't tried the slow flow, give it a shot. The, a lot of the bait in your lakes is going to be this size this time of year. That's a good setup right there. <clears throat> I'll try one with the two up before we end this just to see how they fit. Uh, the other colors I got was the... Uh, <clears throat> I got... Oh, geez. I got the uh, dark green pumpkin in that 2.85 inch. I'll show you that up close. Some dark green pumpkin. Great natural color to throw. Garlic scent is awesome, and you could even probably take your take your uh, your dye markers. You put a little chartreuse on the belly there if you want to add a little little to it. Can't hurt. But 
That's what they look like in the packaging. And I said that's the dark, what did I say that was? Dark green pumpkin. So that's the second one. I also got one of the lighter colors, the, what they call the pure pearl. Pure pearl. And the 2.85 inch. I got all 2.85 inches. I believe there's, I gotta look, there's a smaller size too. But if you're looking for something, let's say you got dirty water. I like that white, it's great. Sometimes that's really the best color you can throw, just that white. Looks a lot like a bait fish swimming around. But another good one. There it is, there's that pack of the pure white. And last but not least, I got the pearl gold flash. Pearl gold flash. Just looking at that, that will probably match pretty good with that Tennessee shed color one. Got some great looking, you know, it's a great bait fish looking color. So I get one out here. That white belly and that, I don't know if I'd call it a green pumpkin top, maybe. But it's definitely got some purple flake, some gold flake in there, maybe some black. But that's a great looking bait fish color. I'm gonna, I'll even try and rig that up for you right now. So let's try it with the two eyes, see how it fits. So here is the Tennessee Shad. 3 8 ounce sled <clears throat> but with the 2 odd hook. So it's got the bigger hook. So if I look at this, it should be okay. It's going to be a little further along where that groove is on the back. That kind of keeps you in line. So I'm going to I have to go back a little further on the bait. I don't see it being an issue with this 2.85 inch, but let's rig it up just to be sure. Just have to go a little further along in the plastic, and I know where I kind of where I want to come out. As I said, make sure you rig these straight. If you rig it crooked, it will swim crooked. Could be over a smidgen, but at least I'm in the right where pretty much where I want to be. So that I don't see any issue with throwing it on the two watt. It fits in there fine. You're still gonna get your tail action. And that is, if I can remember the color, that is the Pearl Gold Flash with the Tennessee Shed sled. And that's the 3 8 Sorry about that. That's the 3 8 ounce sled Tennessee shed with a two odd hook so with the two odd hook and that 2.85 inch bait fits fine I was wondering if it was gonna fit okay and now that I've got got I rigged them and I've gotten them I don't I, I think both options are great I don't see either one if you just want a bigger hook gap go with that two odd if you'd like even be, be a little more finessey with that one odd it's not that big a difference try them both try them both see how they work for you I will definitely, I mean, I've got the, it's the same weight. It's still three eighths. It's still going to get down there. But if you just want a little bigger hook, I got it. So I'm going to leave both of these rigged because I'm not undoing it when I've done it right. But that, guys, is it. That's the order. So if you have, you're new to my channel, you have, you're just getting into fishing or you've never heard of Beast Coast before. Beast Coast Fishing, located in Connecticut, great company, swim baits, jigs. I've got a ton of stuff back there that's Beast Coast. And I love fishing jigs, so if you're a company that makes good jigs, I will like you a lot anyway. But I just to kind of put this all together and just go through this quick what I got. I did get another of the Superfly hair jigs in the black, 3 16 ounce. So I got one of those. If you like your Arky style, this is the Vanquish. This is the Nurple, I believe this one. It's kind of their purple and green pumpkin jig in a half ounce. Got one of those. And if you have never heard of the open water sniper and you're a fisherman i find that hard to believe but if you're new to fishing and you want a, uh, a nice finesse um, football head jig that is just one of my favorites check out the open water sniper it's very very popular so if you're into fishing i'm sure you've heard of it but as i said if you are new to fishing check out the open water sniper it's tungsten perfect for someone like me who lives in a no lead state and then i got the uh, the sleds if you're looking for a different 
type of, you know, not just that typical bullhead, which is fine. <laughs> I've caught a lot of fish on bullhead jigs, but if you're looking for that sled, so it's almost like a football head, good for deflection. It'll protect your bait here with that kind of lip on the bottom. This will really work when you're kind of slow rolling your swim bait along the bottom and hitting those rocks. It's not going to beat up your bait. It's just going to hit your hit that. And every time that ticks something, it's going to give off a sound that will most likely attract fish to the area. But the uh, that's just the unpainted color. That's the two out and the three eighths. The uh, dark green pumpkin, two out and the three eighths. That's what that looks like. And the Tennessee shad with that slow flow on there. That's the three eighths two out hook. So the two out fits these fine. A 2.85 inch bait fits fine. There is the unpainted in, with the one out hook. So three eighths ounce, same size. The one out hook, that's that sexy shad color. Um, here's the Tennessee shad in the one out. So just a little smaller hook gap. And the uh, dark green pumpkin. Whoops. Dark green pumpkin in the one out. So if you like that, if you prefer the one out, there you go. If you prefer the two out, I see them, as you can see, they both fit perfectly on that 2.5 inch slow flow. As I said, there's that sexy shad color on this one. I always forget the name of it. I believe it's green pearl gold flash. So there's that pearl gold flash slow flow. Finesse swim bait. So if you're looking for a tiny swim bait, here you go. That pearl gold, pearl gold flash. Dark green pumpkin. In the slow flow, dark green pumpkin. There's the packaging. This one I already put back in the bot in the bag. So here's the sexy shad color. And here's the pure, pure pearl. So if you're just looking for that white swim bait, perfect. So that's the order. So um, I will put links uh, to the Beats Co site. You guys can check them out. Um, I highly recommend, you know, if you if you have not tried Beast Coast, I really highly recommend it. The, the jigs are awesome. And you guys know from watching my channel that I love throwing jigs. And they've got so many different styles and they will fit any jig category you're interested in throwing. And, you know, the swim baits are cool. They've got big swim baits. They've got small swim baits. And I'm really looking forward to it. I have not used these sled swim bait heads yet. I have not used them yet. So when I get out, Maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, one of these days this week, I like to get out. It's still nice weather before the holidays. This is a good option. It really, I like this, uh, I like the shape of the head. And um, I've been meaning to get them for a while and I haven't, but now that I got them, I'm looking forward to trying them out. So if you're looking for a new type of swim bait head, uh, check out that sled from, uh, from Beast Coast. But I'll put links uh, to their website. You can check them out. But if you're looking for a finesse swim bait, that slow flow is hard to beat. Hard to beat. Um, so that's it, guys. So any questions on any of these, let me know. As I said, I have not thrown this, this sled yet. So if you guys have thrown it, let me know how you like it. But I can see this being a real good option. Real good option. I like that different shape of that head. I'm interested to try it out. Um, but the jigs you can't beat. Jigs you can't beat. Get some nice rattles on that. Piece of super pork. I'm ready to fish. <laughs> uh, but that's it. That's it. There's their logo one more time. Check it out. And I'll put a link to uh, put their website on there. And the links to all this cool stuff. And you guys can check it out. So any questions, let me know. Uh, please like the video. Please share it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Welcome aboard. I'm Mark. This is Northeast Bass Fishing. And I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you soon. Mark out.